Oh man, it's it's hot in it's hot as hell in this room. Like god dang. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Oh man, um Spore Knuckles. Finished watching the Raiders. Well, Raiders and um Ravens and Raiders game and week one is official in the books right now. And yeah, I, I gotta say, man, this was a this was a good first week. This is a good first week. So I think I think it's what I'm gonna do every, every after every um what a night game. Just talk about what I, my thoughts on each week was. Uh it's gonna be tough to do because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be around every Monday due to my schedule. But we'll see. If I'm able to, that'll be a miracle. But I was gonna like my quick takes in week one. Now some of it could be overreaction or a big reaction or like a reasonable reaction, but we'll see. But I'm gonna get to this Monday night football game and uh yeah, I didn't think the Raiders. I didn't think the Raiders will get this first win. I thought the Ravens were going to win this, but my God, now nah, I'm not saying it's an excuse or anything like this, but I don't even know how the Raiders, not Raiders, the Ravens can even like compete in this division. Honestly, just with the pieces that they're missing, it's gonna it's gonna be a long road. And honestly, the Raiders, don't we are the Raiders play? They 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 fought. Honestly, what happened was that um. In the overtime, the first part of the overtime, when the one receiver was down, like, like I thought it was a touchdown, but he was clearly he was down before he reached the goal line. But I'm like, okay, this game's over. I don't even have to watch this uh, touchdown, right? So I'm eating. I found eating, right? Come downstairs. The game is still on because apparently it said next score. So, so I'm like, yo, the Ravens had the ball. So, yo, know, someone like someone in the comments just tell me what the hell happened because I'm thinking to myself, yo, the Raiders won this game. Now, Harry, I'm coming to find out, like, next score wins. So that means the Ravens had the ball. So I'm pretty much – I was pretty much up like my dad. Like, my dad always watches the game. When he leaves, I tell him next morning, I'm like, yo, bro, uh, you missed a good-ass game just now. Uh, just, just such and such just happened at the end. And he's like, god dang it. I'm like, yo, I'm, I was being like my dad. I somehow <laughs> I left the game when I'm, the game was clear it was not over. But I'm thinking, like, oh, Raiders got this. But it took longer than, than I thought. But – um. No man, I feel as though Lamar Jackson's gonna be kicking himself over the foot, be, kick, like, like punching himself in the gut because that fumble that he had that that was honestly like the um, the pretty much the seal right there, which you know got the Raiders in this game. But I'm a little, if I'm the defensive coordinator, I'm guy. I gotta be mad at him. Well, I gotta be mad at myself because when um, Lamar led that team down to get that field goal to get the lead. And they played like, as much as far as I can remember. They played soft zone coverage. I'm thinking like, "Yo, be aggressive!" Like, why are you sending three? Like, you don't want them close to a field goal range. Like, no, they just they played soft. Like, that's not the Ravens' philosophy. You want to play hard nose blitz, get get in there. But now he just had like three, uh, three just uh attack with three men, and I just I thought that was just that wasn't a good strategy. And you know, I'm not saying he was the sole reason why they lost, but like I feel as though. You should have been more aggressive because, like I said, all they got to do is hit, get a field goal. They had to score a touchdown, they got to get a field goal. So, like, <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it, it was just bad. It was sloppy. But despite the Raiders winning, I still don't see them competing in this division. I, I like, I know this might sound like a hater, but I just feel as though the Chiefs will still win this division. But I feel as though the Chargers and, uh, and the Broncos would definitely, you know, definitely uh, play them tough. So, like, I don't think it's going to be as easy as, um, as the last couple of years have been. So I think they, they're going to challenge them, but I still think it's just going to come on top. Um, but like I said, the Ravens, man, I, I don't see how they can, you know, they can, uh, they can make it in this division, man. Like I, the Steelers and the, uh, and the bills, won, not, not bills and the Steelers and the Bengals won, but I'm just, I still have the Browns winning the division, but with the Ravens, man, I just Lamar, it, it's going to be literally Lamar carrying this team, man. Like, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough road for them, and then and then they got Kansas City next. So, but the Browns look good in the. I mean, granted, those things a moral victory, but the Browns look good in that game against Kansas City. Granted, they blew the lead, and the one guy f fucked up the punt. Like that was almost like the stick seal right there. But um, like I said, a AFC is gonna be tough. I feel like they're all gonna be competitive, but. I, I just don't see the Ravens making the playoffs. I they're in my wild card, but now I'm just I'm uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Now, one division that is definitely gonna be interesting to watch is the uh NFC West. Everybody won, like I said, the the Rams look great Sunday. Like 
if we if we are go early favorites who's gonna like play in the NFC championship, like this is too really, really early, but as of right now, I would say the uh the Bucks and the uh and the Rams. But like I said, everyone in NFC NFC West won. And maybe I wasn't fair to Kyle Murray because he was hurt last year, which is why you know the team fell off. So if he can be healthy. It's gonna it's gonna be extremely competitive. Like, dude, what I, look at I think I said this before, but looking back at it, man, like pretty much all the NFC West people can possibly make the playoffs of if, if correct me wrong because you have one one in division and you have three wild cards. I mean, it's possible. Nah, nah, is it possible? I have to look into that, but like it like I said, it's gonna be competitive. At least two. At least two can make it into the playoffs, at least possibly, but NFC West is going to be is definitely going to be very fun to watch. Um, who else will say? Now the uh, AFC South, I still have the Titans winning that game. I mean, granted, them and the Colts lost. I think it's going to be between those two guys. Yeah, Houston beat Jacksonville, but I mean, Jackson, what, what else can you expect? He's a um, Trevor Lawrence is a rookie. Um, the Houston is a terrible organization right now. Like they got this win now, but it's not. They're not. They're going to fall. Like probably like next couple of weeks. Um, NFC South. I'm trying not to sneeze right now because I got freaking allergies and shit, and it's fucking annoying. But um, the Bucks. I'm gonna say I saw the Bucks as the favorites to win that division, but this could be the reaction. But Jameis, I saw highlights. Jameis Winston and the Saints look great against Aaron Rodgers. I mean, granted, you're not gonna see the Rodgers and the Packers play like that ever again. That's never gonna happen. Like, forget what you saw because that's not gonna happen. But I feel as though we, I mean, guys, it is week one, but you, you definitely gotta give Sean Payton credit, man. Like, he knows how to coach. Now, should we give him more credit? I mean, granted, Drew Brees is a Hall of Famer, but like, maybe we should definitely, definitely give a, pay, uh, Sean Payton a lot more credit because, yes, I understand that Sean, I mean, uh, Drew Brees is an elite quarterback and you're a great, great coach and helps, but I mean, if he's able to, like, Get Jameis Winston to like the next level and beyond, and possibly win a couple Super Bowls. It's like you gotta get possibly give Sean Payne more credit than you do Drew Brees. You know what I'm saying? But uh, well, it's week one, but the Saints can definitely, definitely uh give uh the Bucks uh tr- trouble because it is it's a bit of a reaction. But you make the argument that Drew Brees throwing those interceptions is the reason why they lost, and so but Jameis Winston. I mean, oh, also here's the other thing. Um. Let me look at the stats. Let me look at the stats. He had no turnovers, too. James has had no turnovers. Let me look at the stats again. Shit. Uh, uh, stats. Uh, Saints. Oh, uh, well, oh, oh, never mind. I thought he played better than I thought he had better numbers than this. I mean, what, no, 14 for 21, 48 yards, five touchdown passes. Then no, no, I mean, that is good. Like, not a single pit, not a single uh, turnover. Because I mean, his eyesight is probably a lot, is a lot, a lot better now. And like I said, he's not playing under um, Bruce Arians' system. So <laughs> yeah, he, he remember he he's, he balled out that year with the, <laughs> with the thirty touchdowns, and thirty interceptions. But he balled out though. He balled out. <laughs> um. Yeah, but no, the the Saints. I mean, like I said, I thought. I really thought that the uh that the Bucks would like run away with this division, but I I don't yeah I feel as though the Saints will give the uh Bucks some trouble. So, I mean they didn't the Packers didn't even score a touchdown. But like I said, they're they'll they'll still the Packers will, well, they won't play like that again. And I think believe anybody, everybody in, in the NFC North lost, so they're all tied. So they all have a chance right now. Um. Uh, yeah, Packers were running away with that division. I mean, Vikings, they should be better, but under Kirk Cousins, that's not possible. The Bears, the, th- the thing is, they were, they had a chance, you know, to like be competitive with uh the Rams because like as soon as they like, I think like, they're like maybe once a touchdown down, a touchdown behind, somehow the Bears defense still lets the uh Rams score, so. And I, like I said before, I just that the defense, man, I mean, Grant, ever since they lost their uh, defensive coordinator, who was it? Was it Chuck? Well, let's all can't pronounce his last name. That defense hasn't, hasn't been the same. 
I mean, you got the talent, but like it's something's missing, man. Maybe they just get better smart. Maybe, maybe you put Justin Fields in, you know what I'm saying? Because that is your future right there. Um, maybe they should put him in. I mean, I feel like everybody's trying to do the whole Patrick Mahomes thing, like have the guy set out the rookie year and then the next year they're ready. That does that does that's not the case. That's not the case. I mean, you even had him in a game a couple of times and he looked pretty decent, so why stop that? So I don't know. Um, what's what? I mean, let's you know you're not going to win the division, but you know why not see what you have in your future? So I want to be mad at them putting in Justin Fields the next game. Uh, AFC East, um, believe the Dolphins is the only team that won. Um, Tua, I just feel. <sighs> I feel as though Tua's definitely playing for his job. Even if, even if he even if it doesn't work at Miami, I'm pretty sure another team would want to take him. But so, just something about that team, man. I, I don't know. I just like I said before, I don't think they have the full confidence in Tua for whatever reason. I guess the vibe he, he gives off. He's not much of a talker. He's a chill guy, which you know, if that's his personality, that's his personality. Like, you know, um, let the guy let, let let the guy be. I guess um, I, the quarterbacks always had to be your leader. Mm, not necessarily, but as long as your quarterback is good, you know, and gets his job done. I don't I don't mind that. God, I'm just looking at these highlights again from the uh, Packers and Saints. It's just it's just pretty much a one sided game, man. A one sided game. But yeah, um, AFC is uh, the Bills. I feel so like the Bills will still. Uh, We'll still get the better end of the uh we'll still win the division. I mean they played a tough game with the Steelers and I believe that punt definitely uh fucked that up, fucked everything up. Um now the NFC East. I might have missed the division. I don't really care because I'm sure just, just want to go to bed. Um <laughs> the NFC East. I mean, people want to say it, it, what's funny about the Eagles is that, like I said, I picked the Eagles to lose because we were playing in Atlanta and we never play well there. But like all of a sudden it's like, okay. Everyone picks Atlanta to win, but then when the Eagles win, convincingly, the bad thing that get that got that was the underdog won convincingly. It's like, well, it was Atlanta. What the motherfucker? Why'd you choose us to lose the game then? If you knew we, we were the better team, then you should just chose us. But we destroyed them. We'll just like a touchdown. Like that's what you do. That's what you do. Get. If you're the better team, that's what you do. You destroy your opponent if you are the better team. And clearly, should we are the better team. And I knew we were the better team, but I just felt as though. Time and place. That was the issue. Was the time and place. Now, Cowboys are saying, well, we played great. I'm happy with how my team played. And it's like, y'all still lost. But despite all that, it is week one. And then, you know, Washington has like their that one QB that played in place. So they played all that bad. Um because uh um uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick has it was sent to the IR. I forget right. It's like a, almost like a hip injury, similar to what to, to, uh, Tua had. So he's out for the season. And Giants, J- Daniel Jones, yeah, um, that dude just uh, turnover machine, man. Like every game, it's got to be a freaking turnover with that guy. So I feel as though in the AFC East, like I said, it, it is week one. It's a can be overreaction. I feel so it's going to come down between the uh, Eagles and the Cowboys. Now, I will say this. If the Cowboys end up losing against the uh, against uh, Chargers, and if we end up winning in the 40, end up uh, facing, winning or losing either against the 49ers, I will say that third game, that game in Dallas, will definitely be a very, a very tough game because a team that's down 0-2, they're really to get their first win, and you know, especially be, being the um, being um at home for the home opener, it's it's gonna be a very very uh tough game. It's gonna be a scary game because desperate teams, man, are always pretty scary. So I, we'll, we'll have to see, man. We'll just have to see. But I feel as though after week one, like I said, things change. It's gonna probably possibly come down between the Eagles and the uh, Cowboys. That's what it's looking like in the NFC East. Like I said, that's that's the most important division because my team's in there, the Eagles. So I'll be paying attention to my team the most, obviously. But overall, though, man, listen, it's going to be a very oh, – you can tell I'm, like, tired as hell. I'm just now looking at my eyes because I was looking at other at, 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 uh, tabs 
on my Google Chrome. And I'm like, my God, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. That, that's, just, that's the eyes of someone tired as hell right now. So, yeah, man. Like the week one's in the books. Good Monday Night Football game. Next pr- game we're going to get is Thursday, uh, Giants in Washington. I don't have NFL Network, so I'll probably stop by to the bar after work. Probably just to watch, you know, most of the first half. Then we get to the second half. Then when we get to the second half, I'll, I'll head home because I don't have time to be watching the whole entire game. But I want to see, you know, if the Washington can respond after, you know, their that terrible defensive performance against Justin Herbert. And let's see how – um. And we'll see how the Giants will respond after that embarrassing week one loss. We'll just have to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I'm tired as hell. Can't wait to go to bed and wake up early again and just suffer as I always do. So as always, guys, y'all t- y'all take care. Be safe. Like the video. Comment on the video. Share the video. Follow me on our social media platforms. The link's going to be in the description. It's Facebook, two of my Instagram accounts. Uh, Anchor. I have to put Spotify sooner or later, and I believe I said Facebook as well too. So, so as guys, y'all be safe. Remember, remember, as Jay Cole said, there is no such thing as a life better than yours. Take care.